Xin chào. So in today's video, I will show you the place uh, which I rented through Airbnb in Nha Trang. But before I do that, I want to share a few words about uh, Airbnb and accommodation and hotels in general in Vietnam. And as usually, uh, I uh, talk about the situation in Nha Trang here in southern Vietnam because I stayed here. So in uh, general, but I believe the, the situation is very similar when you are in Saigon or Hanoi or Da Nang. So if you are a budget traveler, then Vietnam is really the place for you to be because you can save a great deal of money. And the best way to do this is uh, with your accommodation because as you know, if you are a budget traveler or even a minimalist as I am, you know that accommodation uh, takes up the biggest part of your budget, right? And accommodation is the most important one, followed by food, basically. So accommodation in Vietnam is cheap or to put it another way, uh, very affordable. You can get an Airbnb already starting uh, from $10 per night. Uh, and then there is no limit, uh, of obviously, but uh, the very good deals start uh, between 10 and 15 dollars per night, and you get really good accommodation. Yeah, uh, depending on your your needs. Uh, the obviously, if you rent longer, long more long term, then the rates go down. For example, I know of a hotel which is also listed on Booking.com. It's it's really a hotel. And they also list their uh, rooms at Airbnb. When you rent that room through Airbnb per night, then it costs you about $15, okay? But if you rent for one month, then the price comes down to $8 per night. And this is, nobody can beat that. Where can you get a hotel room yeah, uh, for $8 per night, yeah? So this is what I mean, you know, when you when, when I'm talking about accommodation in Vietnam. Yeah, so the, the properties, they, most of them, they list uh, their properties on TripAdvisor, Booking.com and Expedia and the other websites, but also they list them on Airbnb. So I suggest, I highly suggest to, to go through Airbnb. Uh, you can also get very good deals with hotels. Uh, I mentioned this in my previous video, starting with like, yeah, yeah. Here in Nha Trang, uh, or over there in Nha Trang, the, the good rooms start with 20, 25 bucks. Uh, below that, you, you, you don't get really something uh, decent, I would say. But 25 or 30 dollars per night is still a great deal for a hotel room. And you get really, really great deals and uh, even rooms in five star hotels. So this is uh, the most important thing you need to know. As a budget traveler, you have great opportunities here to save a, gr a great chunk of money uh, when you rent through Airbnb. You get a good deal, you get good accommodation with usually strong Wi-Fi, good running air condition, the places are all clean and well maintained. This is what I have experienced from the few times I used different places through Airbnb. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, here is my little uh, video of my latest accommodation in Nha Trang. Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of my Airbnb room here in uh, Nha Trang. Uh, this is not the view from my window. Actually, this is the hallway here. And this is my room. It's a very simple room. Yeah, with a double bed. Um, yeah, it's really nothing special, but for $11 it's uh, sufficient. This here is the bathroom. Simple bathroom with a shower. They also provide shampoo and uh, shower gel. Uh, we have warm water here. Yeah. Then uh, there is an air condition, but it's not really working properly, but this is a different story. 
but luckily they provided a fan which I'm using from time to time then they have a deep freezer compartment and a refrigerator and here small pantry style kind of thing with a water boiler and a sink then they have some um, yeah uh, cutlery uh, chopsticks a few bowls china ware uh, small little balcony which is very cute so open it and we can step outside here and enjoy the beautiful beautiful view over Natrang and the mountain area in the morning the sun is shining from the east side onto the onto the hills it's a very nice uh, view and a very nice uh, very nice colorful uh, hills yeah uh, simple simple thing enough for me I'm actually departing now I'm heading for Malaysia sneak the road less traveled oh that fits the occasion actually by the way this is my reading suggestion for you yeah oh I forgot to show you this uh, side here yeah uh, this is my window here that's really nice a big window like a panorama style window and I can see the mountains you know here's my bed I'm sitting down now when I'm lying down on my bed I can enjoy the view from from my bed and look at to the mountains and the hills ah, that's really nice that's the bed again there's a closet with hangers and stuff a, a big mirror is there a small desk with a chair so everything you need and actually you also can lock this one here yeah they don't have a safety box in this room but um you can lock your personal belongings there's a tv internet wi-fi is very good i had never any issues yeah strong internet as usually in vietnam 11 bucks a night i stayed here for almost one month and yeah uh thinking uh, if i come back or not but there's so many other different opportunities here airbnbs you know there are plenty and i'm gonna see you in the next video please leave me your comments suggestions questions whatever you have down in the comment sections i'm looking forward to it take care bye bye